Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 27th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun, 304 angstroms. Not much to report except for the new sunspot regions that have turned in for an earth-facing view. No major solar flares or coronal mass ejections to talk about. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have pretty complex region on the right-hand side. Sunspot region cresting in and as well, four sunspots lined right up laterally on our sun right now. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, large sunspot region on the left-hand side that has produced multiple M-class solar flares and an X-class multi-spectrum showing here the last 48 hours of events, pointing them out is well notable. On the bottom left-hand side there, solar tornadoes, big plasma filaments swirling around like massive five earth tall standing tornadoes. Also, there's our coronal hole regions, one turning it away and one in the northern hemisphere. And then a closer look here at those solar tornadoes as they were cresting into view. Surface of the sun is a swirling around during solar cycle 25. Multiple sunspot regions above predicted values. Amazing times to be alive. And thank you all so much for tuning in and being a part of this channel and community. Much love. Have another amazing look at our sun the last 48 hours. As right now, we have six sunspot regions that are visible on our sun. And there's those four, as I said, strapped straight north and south on our sun. Another look here at the sunspot regions in motion. Notable there, that big sunspot region and the cresting in as they are forming quickly. Current space weather conditions, we are under a G1, which is a level one geomagnetic storm impact. And that is from an anomaly here in the solar X-ray flux. Solar winds are coming in at 406 kilometers per second right now. That is the enhanced curl hole wind stream that introduced those increased solar winds. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, only reporting one M-class solar flare the last 48 hours. And there's that anomaly, the solar proton flux, which instantly put us into KP5 level one geomagnetic storm. And this is what the auroras were looking like during that peak. This is not forecast. This is what happened today. And looking at our magnetosphere, you can see the pressure is building on our planet right now. That is always prevalent during the coronal hole wind stream from our sun. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center, their space weather spiral. No major space weather events coming our way, but as you can see, lots of energy taking off from multiple sunspot regions. Having a look here at most recent ISWA space prediction spiral, showing an outgoing CME towards Venus. Notable all that yellow and green cosmic energy from those four sunspot regions. Now let's have a look at our GOES X-ray flux. This is the last seven days, and there is that X-class solar flare and three M-class solar flares we've seen. Sunspot number progression for solar cycle 25, well above the predicted values right now. And almost triple the, or sorry, a double the predicted values throughout June. So heads up this summer, solar cycle maximum taking a peak here real soon. Now let's have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We're going to increase it to 48 hours as there's not much going on right now. Just under 220 earthquakes, USGS reporting, but notable earthquake here, 4.9 North American plate, Smith Ferry, Idaho, 4.9 earthquake very far west of Yellowstone. Not much to report. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. Notable earthquake here, 
5.1 Nicaragua, 184 kilometer depth. Seismicity continuing in Puerto Rico, but pretty widespread right now. Offshores of the island, San Antonio de los Cobros, deep earthquake there today, 4.3. And as well a 4.5 reported in Turkey. 5.0 earthquake here reported yesterday, the Owen Fracture Zone. Notable earthquakes up into northern China, Tibetan Plateau. And here's our largest earthquake the past 24 hours, 5.3 Timor-Leste. And here is our deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 4.2 south of the Fiji Islands, 617 kilometer depth. So heads up, my friends and family. We did see a 6.3 earthquake the other day. Nazca Plate, but increasing activity all across New Zealand and the southwest ring of fire through the Philippines as well has myself a little bit concerned, especially towards Japan. So heads up, my friends and family from around the world. If you are in an earthquake-prone zone, just be ready. Notable deep earthquakes throughout this week. Right after my earthquake watch video that I put out the other day, 6.3 earthquake rocked the Nazca Plate off the coast of Chile. Southeast Pacific Ocean. And it is notable here, looking at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Much love, everybody. All this increasing activity through the North American plate has me worried for the subduction zone on the Fuca. Right up into the Cascades. Much love, everybody. And thank you for over 70,000 followers here on YouTube. Please don't forget to smack that like button and share. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our 44 volcanoes that are erupting right now. Notable SO2 plumes coming off the Aleutian Islands and as well through Mexico with big Popopoqueto. Pretty big eruptions this week. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Russia. Big plumes coming off of Kamchatka, the island, eastern Russia. And then overlooking Africa, Australia. Pretty big plumes of SO2 coming out of Solomon Islands region. And then overlooking Europe and the Atlantic Ocean. Big plumes sweeping across. And as well, pretty big eruption, Cotopaxi volcano. That is one of the newly awakened through Colombia. And then notable here, notice this SO2 plume in the southern hemisphere. Not sure where it came from. It might have funneled down south from the active and erupting Aoba volcano. But this is new. This was not here yesterday. Sulfur dioxide emissions are on the rise with an active and erupting 44 volcanoes across the planet. Now let's have a look at world weather here as we have a big low moving across eastern Canada and the United States. We had thunderstorms early this morning and it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. Looking at these systems throughout the week, Alberta minus 20 with an Alberta clipper moving through, but it's going to stay very well north. Still seeing abnormally warm temperatures across eastern North America. Long range forecast, watch for big system to head into California and one to race up the eastern seaboard could bring some very wild and windy weather. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Australia. Big low and multiple systems moving through South Indian Ocean and as well lingering low pressure system across Northern Territory of Australia. And some strong systems here affecting New Zealand in the long range. Third into the fourth, you're going to see possible cyclone hit southern parts. Long range forecast could see a pretty sizable cyclone developing central Indian Ocean. And then overlooking Europe, we've got a lingering low through the Mediterranean right now over Italy. And it's going to linger until at least the second or third before a low pressure system comes in over Ireland 
and sweeps it northward. And that big system here in the North Atlantic, watch for heavy snowfall and lots of moisture towards Iceland and Greenland. Overlooking South America and Africa. Daily evaporation rains in the regular regions, but lingering lows here through central regions, Chile and Argentina. Set to bring some wild weather and, well, and extreme weather throughout this week. So heads up, my friends and family. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.